Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to stay with the breath all the way in, all the way out. Each breath as it comes in, each breath as it goes out. Try to keep your attention as continuous as you can. Years back when my father went to visit me in Thailand, I took him to meditate with my teacher, Ajahn Phuong. And his first question was, my father, as a Christian, would this get in the way of his doing Buddhist meditation? And the, Ajahn Phuong said, we're not doing Buddhist meditation, we're focusing on the breath. The breath is common property all over the world. It doesn't belong to Buddhists or Christians or Muslims. It belongs to everybody. And when you stay with the breath, you get to see your mind a lot more clearly, because you're having to focus your attention in the present moment. You're having to remember to stay here, and you have to be alert to make sure the mind stays with the breath. That means you have to put out, put out some effort, but just enough effort to stay with the breath, remember what you're doing, and not go slipping off to other things. And just that simple exercise, you begin to see a lot about your own mind, the extent to which it wanders around. Sometimes it wanders in line with your intention, sometimes it seems to have a mind of its own. But you watch it continually, and you try to nudge it in the good direction. Our problem in life is that we go through lives, our lives and we know our minds very little. We know when they're upset, we know when they have strong emotions. But how those emotions come in, how they take over, that's something we're not too clear about. Because most of our attention has been directed outside. Now it's time to turn around and direct your attention inside. Try to create a sense of well-being here in the present moment with the breath so that the mind is happy to stay here. If you find that your breathing is tense, think of it becoming more relaxed. If it's too short or too long, you can adjust it. And sometimes just paying attention to the breath like this, you get into the present moment without having to think too much about it. Just take an interest in how the breathing feels in your body right now. The breath is an element that nurtures all the other elements in the body. And if you look after it well, it'll look after your body too. So here's free medicine both for the body and for the mind, so that at the very least, when the mind is not occupied with anything else, you can give this to it to occupy itself with, occupy yourself with the breath. Because that's another problem that we have, is we're not used to having the mind alone without any activities, any other responsibilities outside. The mind, that in cases like that, seems to be at loose ends. So here you give the mind something to do all the time, no matter what you're doing, where you are. You can always stay with the breath, make the breath comfortable. You get to know yourself and you get to develop a sense of belonging here in the present moment. This is your home. So you have medicine for the mind, medicine for the body, a home for the mind, a home for the body, food for the mind, food for the body, shelter for both. This way you can learn how to take care of all the mind's needs.